Yo, what up? Eat good, live well, stay true. So a couple of videos ago, I mentioned that I was gonna receive an air fryer and that I was super stoked for it. Well, the day has come, it is here, it has arrived. The parcel has landed. Still, like the other day, I'm still super stoked to cooking it. What are we gonna cook? Well, we'll get to that momentarily. In the meantime, we should have a look at this thing because it's looking pretty dope. I'm pretty into it, to be honest. So I have my, I have my reservations, but Let's come on over here and have a little look-see. All right, so here we are. First off, Magic Chef, what up? I like this guy. He's just having the time of his life. I feel like him right now. I feel like I'm a Magic Chef. And you know what? We'll see what kind of magic we can create today. If you really look at the unit, it blends in well to my unit, my condo unit. Like it has like a nice, sleek, similar, real modern look, you know what I mean? Really fresh. Got that egg shape going on, she's pretty tight. But uh, let's see how intuitive it is. Let's see how simple it is. Functionality is what really counts, you know what I mean? So as far as this tray goes, where you actually put the food, it is really simple. You literally just pull this tab back and pull, pull it out, boom, there you are. Once that's out, all you have to do is slide that forward. There's a little button here, pop it, and you got your basket. And then you honestly, you have to give it a little force. You don't be too gentle, but you just gotta really just lock her back in like that. So, so outside of that, there's this one next element and it's really just setting it to cook. And it's really just a simple hit the power button. You have like a menu selection button. If you just click through this, you have all these presets. So fries, lamb, shrimp we're on right now, like dessert, cake or whatever, chicken, steak, fish and it's all got its time 10 minutes and heat right so if you just cycle through boom 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 and then outside of that you have the temperature and the time if you want to manually set it you just go for like plus minus on the thing so maybe i want to cook at 320 boom and maybe i want to cook for not 16 minutes maybe i want to go 320 for 20 minutes boom 20 minutes minus up and then literally just and it's on and going, that's it. It's really that simple. So, right now for the moment of reveal and truth. What are we cooking today? Well, I've recreated Burger King, I've recreated McDonald's. Let's recreate Wendy's. What are we gonna recreate at Wendy's? If you're gonna do anything at Wendy's, you're clearly gonna recreate the dirtiest of all treats, the Baconator. So, if you come over here and look at this lineup, we have everything you might need for a Baconator, them buns, that meat dough, make some fresh fries, some nice cheese. We're gonna be using all the bacon. That tomato, it doesn't really belong on a Baconator, but y'all know me, I like tomato. I'm also gonna put lettuce, maybe some onion, and then of course, the mayo and ketchup. So, let's get to this Wendy's. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah.
Bro, like seriously, get out of the way. I can't see them, they can't see me. I know you're the star of the show. I get it. I get it. Today you are. Okay? For today, will we let him have we'll let him okay, we'll fine. Okay? But soon enough, you're gonna be gone. Eat good, live well, stay true, maybe die? Possible. I don't know. With this situation, you never know what's about to unfold. What is going on guys? As you can see, back with just some utter stupidity, really. But probably deliciousness, I would guess, as well. You saw it come together with the Magic Chef air fryer. I did everything with it. Every aspect of this you saw happen with that. And you know what? I'm going to be honest with you guys. It is dope. Like, when I first got it, I was like, we'll see. We'll see. We'll give it a try. We'll see what happens. We'll, we'll see really just how good it is. And I got to tell you, it's dope. Like, it made cooking certain things super easy it does a bunch of different stuff my only thing with it is i wish i had the multi-tier system where i could put like two to three things in at once in like smart order where like the grease would drip from the burger then the fries would be like i could do multiple things at once i just had to do everything separately so that was a little bit of a pet peeve but outside of that like super simple super intuitive anybody's grandma could do it um like straight out the box i was just on it firing all cylinders and it has resulted in this monstrosity that you see in front of us so if you have any intrigue in uh, making your cooking life any easier i know in the comments you guys say that you're not the best cooks out there and you kind of envy my beastly skills in the kitchen sorry uh in the description below 20 percent off code black hoodie go down click that if you're thinking about it at all they're reasonably priced and honestly it's worth it so ultimately i feel like we've been waiting long enough we should probably get into this i'm terrified i know it's not gonna fit in my mouth without further ado let's have a look at this up close i think you guys just need deserve an up close and then we'll try our best to get in for a bite like when i make something like this i always think of the guys at epic meal time and i think like exactly how idiotic this feels and how their lives must feel even more ridiculous. But as you can see, we got like three cheese, got the nice bun, a little less to tomato additive. We got that sauce and we got the square patties, of course. And we have 10, 10 strips of bacon. It goes without saying we need to have a smush root. I might stand for this or do like a crouch because this is too crazy. This is a this is a first. This is a new first on Black Hoodie Channel. Okay, you ready? Set, go. This is making me feel disgusting as a human being, but alternatively, oh. I shit you not, that tastes like a Baconator. I didn't know how the flavor of the patties would come out, but actually seemingly similar. Sorry, I mean, I'm literally doing squats to eat this burger. I'm in a full squat mode. I'm literally like in full, like offensive, football attack mode right now for this burger honestly crazy enough it tastes like a baconator that is wild let's try a few fries i'm a dipper there's dippers and squirters there's a time and a place for squirting and it's certainly not eating french fries on youtube it's just also inappropriate to to squirt on your fries you know what i mean like let's just give them the respect that they deserve It 
and get the appropriate amount of ketchup on each fry, you know? I made the all-natural russet potato fries because, of course, that's what Wendy's does. It is, however, difficult to get the fries <clears throat> to be eaten fresh on camera. So they're not like the dopest right now, but I will say it did do a good job. Let's not fill up too much on that. Let's save ourselves for the main event here. I, I don't even know how to take bites. Suppose I should have made the patty. Thinner. But where's the fun in that? Oh my God, this is actually blowing my mind. How much it tastes like a bacon in there, like. It legit tastes like Wendy's. I would not just say that. I would say if it didn't have like the right flavor, you guys know me. I like to spit the truth. Oh, don't fall apart on me now. You guys know I brought extra sauce. Fully just sauce myself. This thing is <laughs> so stupid. But like stupidly good. So because I made Wendy's, it reminded me of the high school era, age for me, Wendy's tale. It's back when you're young, dumb, stupid, bored, have nothing to do with your time, have access to a vehicle, a little bit of money in your bank, you're stoned, and you got to find ways to entertain yourself. And this is back when you're, you know, a little bit of an asshole. So be prepared for this in the story. Once upon a time, back when me and my stepbrother and my best friend were all stoners and super bored, we used to cruise around late at night, go park random places, smoke up. and get the munchies. And we loved Junior Bacon Cheeseburgers from Wendy's. They're off like the dollar menu, delicious. Just like this, but about, you know, way the fuck smaller. And Crazy. We used to go get, you know, a little munch snack. And there was a superstore right behind uh, the Wendy's, which we used to sometimes smoke in that parking lot. And one night we noticed, or well, multiple nights we noticed that there was this van there parked all the time. So it was probably the person on like night stock duty, like one of the, one of the people. And so, as young dumb idiots, 
I feel super bad for this now, now that I'm older and I'm an adult and work and things like that and I know about the world. For our dumb stone entertainment, we used to as well buy a fully loaded cheese, sour cream, talking everything you can, that sloppy baked potato. And we used to waste that money, obviously. And so stupid at the time, we thought it was hilarious. But we used to sour cream baked potato this van like a few times a week. <laughs> So every morning when somebody got done working super hard, probably so stupid, I feel so bad even talking about it, but we grew up and we learned from our mistakes, uh, would come out and find their windshield or side window or whatever, like sour cream baked potatoed. Once again, and I guess we always had the image in our mind, like them, like coming out again from work, like freaking out, being like, "What the fuck? Like, who's got a vendetta against me? Like, what crazy girlfriend? Like, who did I do something so wrong to?" Meanwhile, it's just a st stone, dumb, idiotic kids. Ah. being assholes. So for those teens that watch my channel, don't do that shit. Learn from me now. It's stupid. It's not worth it. You're going to feel bad about it in the future. You'll regret that shit. And now that I'm older, if that happened to me, I would be pissed. I would be so mad. All that money spent on car washes, super ridiculous. But you guys know me, I'm truthful. I don't run away from my, my past. And I'm willing to try to breed some lessons through my mistakes to people who watch me that maybe have not made these mistakes, so. Also, don't make the mistake of trying to eat one of these burgers or eating a whole one. Just watch me do it. I feel like I should finish it, but yeah, I'll go for it. Why not? Come on, bacon. I just getting so sloppy. Yeah, maybe I can't finish it. <laughs> Everything's trying to get away. It's just like, what do I do? It's just to a point where it doesn't work. I'm still actually in such awe at how much it does taste like Wendy's. Like legit. All right, 
the last bite. I can't carry on. Ten pieces of bacon and a pound of beef. This is already stupid. <laughs> but it's not like this happens all the time, so. Don't try this at home. Or do. With your magic chef air fryer that you order. And you use black hoodie 20% off down in the description. Maybe do it. Maybe that's my challenge to you. Until the next one, eat good, live well, stay true, don't be an asshole, don't sour cream baked potato cars over and over and over again. It's not cool. Anyways, see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>